Hi, this is the Tropical Update for Saturday, September 24th, 2022 at around 1.26 p.m. as of recording this video. We have Tropical Storm Ian located in the Caribbean Sea. It is expected to impact somewhere between the Cayman Islands and, and Cuba and Jamaica. Well, Jamaica, I think you guys are going to be doing just fine. Or are you going to be getting it's just tropical storm force winds? Nothing severe. Well, but anyways, it is dealing with light to moderate wind shear right now. And as I am speaking, it is beginning to exit the wind shear area to where that it can just intensify. Let me show you guys the cone of uncertainty. Now, as of right now... Uh, the Cayman Islands is under a hurricane warning, which means hurricane conditions are expected within the next 36 hours. Now, my main target is somewhere within the Florida panhandle. This is just my observation. Now, this is what I'm thinking. It's Now, it, don't get me wrong. It will be a major hurricane when it, when it arrives in Florida, but... I want to teach you guys a bit of a trick. If you look at tropical tidbits or if you look at the spaghetti models, if you see the spaghetti models move, like if they move further north or further south, then that's where the cone is going to be at the 4 o'clock, 10 o'clock, or 5 o'clock, 11 o'clock advisory. Now, there is a worrying trend that does kind of concern me a little bit about the westerly trend. Now, I'm going to show you guys the intensity guide. As you guys can see, the vast majority of them point to a Category 3, and then once it once it interacts with wind shear as in it makes landfall, it's going to get basically just destroyed. Now, I'm going to show you guys an example of what I'm talking about. This is the h wharf model. As you guys can see, and this is around sometime Monday or Tuesday next week. It's going to be around at 938 approaching Cuba, and then after, after it passes by Cuba, it's going to travel into the Gulf of Mexico, and the next thing you know, it's going to start weakening. And I know what you guys are thinking, wait a minute, doesn't a hurricane strengthen before landfall? Yes, that is true, but in this case, let me show you what I mean. This is some dry air encroaching the storm, which is prohibiting any strengthening. This is the tropical storm force wind probability. It extends from the mouth of the Mississippi River in Louisiana all the way to South Carolina, which is kind of crazy, but I know that's not going to happen. My main focus is somewhere in between the Florida panhandle, and this is the hurricane force wind probability. And I think it could, uh, yeah, it's going to be a hurricane by the time it makes landfall somewhere in Florida. And I'm going to show you guys the different model comparison on windy.com. Okay, so this is the European model. Now watch this. See how it's right here? Watch this. I'm going to switch my gears to GFS. And look at this. Significant shift to the west. And watch this. This is, i never seen this. It just basically disappears when it, like right as soon as it makes landfall because it's going to interact with wind shear. And look at this. I'm going to show you guys something. Look at this. 141 miles per hour. That's crazy. Well, this is the wrap-up of the tropical weather update. Now, remember, please trust your local National Weather Service offices. Just because you see one model run, don't make it set in stone. You have to wait until it gets close to land. And yeah. So, you guys, remember, don't be scared. Be prepared. And as always... My name is Johnny Slapped, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.